Hello, everyone. Welcome to Neelix's Kitchen. I am NB Geek, and this is going to be my second attempt to try and do a review of the Star Trek Picard Season 2 trailer. Unfortunately, YouTube didn't like the last one I did. Uh, apparently, I didn't pause or do something fast enough, so we are going to try this again. So we have, obviously, Picard here. And he's sitting there on the ground looking up. And then we're getting this crazy ass whatever screen here. Looks like something out of, you know, a typical horror movie or suspense thriller. It, also, it's dark. Could somebody in the 24th, 5th century by now pay their damn electric bill? I mean, you've got solar panels all over the place. So I don't understand why this is such a problem. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Get a little shot of the chateau. And look who shows up. It's Q. Q comes in, tells him the trial never ends. Card's like, you know, I'm too old for this shit. And then all of a sudden, Q does what he does best, snaps his fingers. Then we get into this really nice place here. And up, oh, look. Oh, shit. They're all like, hey, we got moved. What do you mean you got moved? That the, You got moved where? You just got snapped. You know, you think um, some of these people, especially the ones who've been in Starfleet, would know what a Q is by now. So I, you would think. And everybody's like, what's going on? Everything looks different. Now, you'll notice Picard and I don't even know what this guy's name is. I didn't care. They're dominantly showing them. And then the big reveal. So now we have a totalitarian federation, basically a Terran empire. Oh, look, more explosions. Seven to nine, like, where's my thing? Time has been broken. Time has been broken. Time has been altered. Seven, you've gone back in time before. Picard, you've gone back in time before. This, this isn't nothing new. You guys know how to do this stuff. And, um, you know, as Romulan's sidekick here, I don't know what it is with him, but he's got these look, this look with Raffi. And, uh, and I'll talk about that later. Like, he's got an issue with her. Now, you see right there, she's looks like she's dragging him along for reasons we don't know. And Picard's like, I will save us. Okay. So what are they going to do? Well, to fight the future, you got to go to the past. So where are you going to go to get back to the past? Now, if you want my opinion, I think I would have slingshot around the sun. I don't think I would have brought the Borg Queen in. Now, here's an interesting thing. If they're in this evil Federation timeline and the Borg Queen has been captured, does that mean this all happened before Picard was assimilated? And if that Picard was assimilated, I don't see how it's going to reflect well with this one because they're two totally different Picards, obviously. So I'm not sure how that interaction is going to work or if it's even going to make a damn bit of sense. Uh, so I would imagine the storyline is going to be she's going to know who this Picard is because reasons. And I don't know why she's even here in the background. I don't understand her purpose. I thought she was a doctor of some sort, cyberneticist or something like that. So what exactly is her purpose here? I mean, the Romulan's the bodyguard. Raffi's, Raffi's a fucking stoner. I don't know much else to tell you or what her point really is at this time. I mean, why is she still even hanging around with Picard? after all this happened or did q just slam all these people together for story reasons okay we're gonna matrix in get some weird flashy stuff going on this february let's go check out sunny california uh well interesting i wonder if they're gonna bring COVID into this 
they're working together. I like I said, I, you notice something there this really focuses on Picard, Seven, and Rafi. The other ones just seem like window dressing or something. And Picard, okay. Where's the damn light switch? Light switch, folks. Okay. This one here I thought was so annoying. The whole chase scene here. Or not chase scene, sorry. This whole joke about being able to drive this car. You can pilot a store ship, you can drive a car. In fact, only time I really remember somebody knowing how to drive a car was Tom Paris. And that's because he hey, was a fan of this kind of stuff. Most other people don't uh, drive cars. This has been established throughout Star Trek canon. But, you know, hey, reasons. We well, just got to get a quick joke in. Now, oh, now we got to make sure we get some comedy in here showing they're in sync, that they're in some kind of relationship, I guess. I don't know. So, card in a tuxedo, maybe doing his detective skills. Who knows? Oh, uh, look. I don't even know what happened there because they like they just had to show the the android girl because you know you have to remember she's part of this show too and big boom look at this what is with the damn lighting here at least even Q knows hey pay your damn bill okay snap lights dark what is it you know she was the one who killed Maddox in the last season. And now she's sitting here wanting, wanting to mess around with the Borg Queen because she's she's fascinated by it. It just seems a little stupid to get that close to the Borg Queen with no shield around. It, 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 it's beyond retarded. She's a scientist. She's obviously not a very smart scientist. Oh, what's going on? Something happened to him. Oh, no. What could it be? I don't care. Oh, there's a light. Well, look at this. I mean, she's got this big, bright-ass lens flare like shine at you, and they got their eyes going. Well, no wonder, dudes. You've been sitting in the dark for so damn long. Uh, you forgot to turn the brightness up on the on the freaking lights. No wonder you're all blinded. Oh, look, fights. Oh, more fights. Oh, another fight. Oh, again. I'm going to get us home. Yeah, we'll see what kind of home you get to. But, uh, folks, that's that's it. Uh, that's just it. It's pretty bad. I, I don't know if they're trying to bait and switch here where they're trying to make sure you think this is Picard-centric, but I would not be 100% sure. And... Uh, you know, we're going to get a lot more darkness, a lot more violence, a lot more eerie stuff. Okay. So we're making X-Files Star Trek now or something to that effect. Anyway, I'm not overly impressed. All right, folks. That's my thoughts on it. It's Picard Season 2 trailer in under 10 minutes. <laughs>